Good day people. This is Mohit uh, once again with the yet another tutorial on Adobe Flash Professional CS5. And today I'll uh, demonstrate how I can using uh, three components, a flash components, make a photo slideshow. For my example I've used two images, you can use 10, 15, 20, whatever. Right guys, let's first study what I have on the stage. I have a UI loader component a tile list component and a progress bar component three components and that's all that I have on the stage and uh, let's see what I have in the action script panel actions panel I have around uh, 23 lines of script a lot of blank lines as well so it's a very small compact script and that's all that I need to make a photo slide show. Isn't that amazing guys? Let me run it uh, and show you what's there in this uh, photo slide show. Let me show you the end product. Okay, I'm uh, clicking on uh, the second image. Bam! First image, the progress bar, advancing, bam! There so I got uh, the thumbnails in the tile list component the progress progress bar has been pulled from the components of flash and the UI loader is a container as a box that loads external images PNG JPEG etc etc images into the uh, UI loader okay so I've used the tile list component to load the thumbnails the UI loader a component to load external assets external images in my example I've used a JPEG and a PNG you could have used PMP as well you now can use uh, if I'm not wrong SW or Swift files as well and this is a preloader component okay where did I get all these three from I went into Windows went down to components and uh, you see tile list here you, do you see UI loader here and uh, the progress bar here where are they located exactly under user interface so components under user interface I got all the three UI loader progress bar and the tile list component next what I did was I, 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 I gave them instance names so progress bar is called progress bar UI loader I've called uh, UI loader and tile list I've called tile list so these are the three instance uh, names that I've given uh, these three um, components okay so what else did I do let's talk a little about the progress bar I, 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 I selected the progress bar and then I linked it to the UI loader uh, in the components parameters of the progress bar I just gave the instance name of the UI loader what this does is it links the two up it links the UI loader with the the progress bar so uh, when the, the UI loader is uh, loading up the progress bar is running from left to right I don't need to provide the action script for this this is an automated process if you link the UI loader to the progress bar through the components uh, they get linked to each other and uh, they respond you know the UI loader is, is the stimulus to the stimuli uh, to the progress bar so as the UI loader kind of fills up the progress bar runs from left to right you can even make it run from right to left selecting this option here okay uh, which is although not advisable so this is how you actually link the two up just by adding uh, the instance name of the UI loader in the source of the progress bar components parameters right guys and uh, what else did I do I I uh, as I said I have this tile list I've called it tile list and uh, here I included uh, two pictures and two labels how did I do that uh, when I select the tile list component in the components uh, parameters there is an entry which is data provider or data provider I don't know which pronunciation is correct take whatever you like then I clicked on this uh, pencil symbol okay here I, I clicked on uh, the plus sign and uh, then I 
I give the names, the labels for the pictures and the source. The the source here is Adobe, you know, uh, dash training dot JPEG. So this is the name of the, the the file, and this is the label. I I could have chosen a different label. That's absolutely all right. But I cannot uh, alter the source name, the file name. So I gave two labels, and I gave uh, two sources, and uh, just by clicking on the plus sign, and uh, since both the pictures are located in the same folder as the swift or the fla i did not uh, give it any path so it's it's relative to these uh, fla and the swift it's in the same folder out here on my desktop i have a tireless folder and the two pictures the adobe training uh, jpeg and adobe flash png sit next to tile list um, that is the fla file and the swift so they all are in the same folder relative to each other they can see each other that's the reason when i was giving the values and where did i give these values from by clicking on this uh, tara provider pencil kind of a icon clicked on that clicked on the plus sign filled up the labels and the sources that's it and then i said okay alright so that's all i did the ui loader component is responsible for picking up uh, images externally okay as you can see there's nothing in the library here just the three components um, tile list just has the labels and even this is picking up uh, the two thumbnails externally the, these are not uh, in the true sense thumbnails these are actually small pictures I can control the size of uh, these pictures through the column width which is right now 100 and the, the row height okay I, I can alter these and I can uh, control the size of uh, the pictures they're not thumbnails in the true sense okay and how do I control the size of this uh, tile list through width and height here under properties in the properties inspector okay guys and uh, uh, what else do I have obviously I have some script so on layer one on the first frame I have some script let me open that up this is uh, the script you are free to take uh, the script and uh, make a you know a photo slideshow a photo gallery similar to mine which has uh, three components and images externally so uh, first of all I'm importing flash events uh, you know these these are uh, the standard lines the uh, I'm telling flash that I'll be working with URL loader class URL request and uh, with the mouse events so th these are standard these you always have to do when you are you're going to use these classes okay uh, the first step is to remove the progress bar which is remove child progress bar progress bar if you remember is the name of the uh, progress bar component okay then what I've done is I've added an event listener to the UI loader or the main component that is responsible for pulling external images onto the the frame of the box and it says event dot complete um, run complete handler so basically when the UI loader loads completely run this function and the function is remove child progress bar so obviously I want to remove the progress bar once the UI loader fills up completely okay what else have I done I have actually added an event listener to tile list what kind of event it is it's a change event so every time the image changes and I've called the function change image what is inside the function let's see the first thing it does is it adds child progress bar so obviously uh, need the progress bar to be present then I've declared a variable called IMG and what is that variable equal to it is equal to tile list dot selected item dot source so source of the selected item in the tile list that is what it means I'll say that again I declared a variable called IMG of the type string which is equal to the source which is uh, the uh, uh, PNG or the JPEG image of the selected item inside the tile list S 
so I hope it's not too confusing then I, I declared another variable called my request and what I'm uh, it's, it's a URL uh, request kind of a variable and uh, it's requesting IMG and IMG is this equal to source of the selected item inside the tile list and uh, so basically uh, the URL request class helps to load the selected source of the selected item inside the tile list and the last um, line here says UI loader dot load my request so it loads it up into it fills up the UI loader okay so it's a change kind of a event on change of every image do this and once the uh, event is complete or the UI loader is uh, completely uh, loaded filled up with the image remove child progress bar remove the progress bar so this adds the progress bar as in here this function removes the the progress bar and I need to remove the progress uh, bar initially because I need to add it okay whenever the uh, image changes so guys uh, uh, it, it may be a little confusing for you uh, when you uh, listen to me the first time but if you actually focus on it uh, with a little passion and little logic you'll understand the code you're free to use the code and I hope guys you can uh, make a, a, a nice looking um, photo slideshow let me know how it went Mohit signing off see you next time bye bye